Yeah, soldiers, it is your boy, the Anime Sage Commissioner video, and this is part three of what if Naruto was an Inuzuka. I hope you guys enjoy part three of this newly critically acclaimed series. Social media is on screen and part two in the description, and oh, that's about it. Let's now get into part three of what if Naruto was an Inuzuka. The group will head into the training exams and Naruto will be not be challenged like in canon by Rock Lee or to be more exact he won't be challenging Rock Lee since he's not seen him with Sasuke and Lee has no interest in fighting Naruto or Kiba. We will now move on to the first stage and everyone does as well as he did in canon except Naruto uses his ninja hand to cheat. When the final question arrives Naruto will pump everyone up like in canon and we can now move on to force of death. This will also go swimmingly for our Inosuka duo and Hinata. Well, except they have to see Garp be a menace. Afterwards, Naruto comforts Hinata, as she seems to be very shaken up by how bloodthirsty Gar is. Not that Naruto and Kiba aren't shaken up themselves. But Naruto ended up training his mental health for trauma and getting closer to Hinata. I see this as a win-win, unlike the Cowboys training away Amari Cooper last offseason. Naruto and company make it to the tower pretty early like the original teammate did, and we'll now see them wait for everyone else. As they wait, the last scene to arrive is Team 7, and little do they know, Sasuke has gotten himself a hick, I, I, I mean the curse mark. Now for this one, I will be utilizing a random number generator in order to spice the Eastern exams up a little bit. First off is Conqueror versus Choji. Due to Choji being a slower moving attacker, all Conqueror has to do is dodge and then wait for him to disengage his expanse in Jutsu. After that, all he has to do is tie him up with his crow puppet and he takes a dub. Next up is Naruto vs Zaku, who has his armors bandaged up. However, Naruto does not waste any time with Zaku as after he gets hit with his surprise decapitating airwaves, he hits him with a fan of her fang, giving him the knockout and the win. Kiba and Naruto high five, and Hanada congratulates Naruto on his hard earned victory. Moving on, we have Kiba versus Yoroi. Yoroi will pin down Kiba at first, trying to absorb all of his chakra, but will then get bitten by Akamaru and will be promptly kicked off by Kiba. Kiba will then fire off his own fang over fang at Yoroi, earning him the win. Naruto and Kiba will high five, while Hanada congratulates her teammate as we wait for a next matchup. Next up, Tamari versus Shikamaru. Shikamaru will actually pull some shenanigans similar to Cannon, but will still surrender, which is gonna set off the same events of Shikamaru and Tamari being a pairing. All Naruto and the rest of the Genin can do is sweat drop. Next up is Misumi versus Neji. Neji will absolutely smoke him with the 64 palms, displaying unbelievable power and name him the knockout and the win. All Hana can do is slightly shudder before Naruto comforts her with his hand on her shoulder. This will allow Hana's resolve to go up as she knows that she might have to face Neji in the third round of tuning exams and does not want to surrender to him anymore. She will break her fate of being weak and she'll prove to him that fate is BS. Next up is Sasuke versus Ino. Sasuke wins easily, moving on. I'm pretty sure Ino would rather not want to bar find Sasuke at all because she doesn't want to hurt his handsome face, quote unquote. Come on, my boy Naruto looks better than him. No homo, of course. Anyways, next matchup is Lee versus Dosu. Lee thrashes Dosu this time since he already has a grasp on what to do against him, which allows Lee to move on to the next round. Cue the beach and Guy Sensei and all that other stuff. Next up is Sakura versus Ten Ten. Ten Ten wins easily. Moving on. Next up is Shino versus Hinata. Hinata has a distinct advantage with her Byakugan as she can easily see whether or not Shino is using his insect clones or not, and can easily find out where he is. She hits Shino with the furry two causing him to surrender, netting Hinata the victory, and some praise from Naruto. Finally, Ken versus Gara. Gara kills her with his sand coffin, horrifying the rest of the kids in the stands. Hinata trembles, and Kiba and Naruto are also really shook. I mean, can you blame them? This is something that's really traumatizing for anyone to see. Ah well, who cares? They're ninja. Like, who cares about their trauma? Move on to new tuning exams and go fight some more. Go, come on, go, 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 go. We'll now move on to the train time skip where Naruto still trains with Jiraiya like in canon. Over next month, however, we'll see Naruto not only get the Toast Swimming contract, but also the Rasengan. Though he just barely gets it before the one month train time skip is over. Hinata, meanwhile, is working on improving herself before her fight with Neji arrives, while Kiba Sasuke and everyone else are going for their own training arcs. Meanwhile, Dosu will still attempt to kill Gara, but he will then realize he's not the main character, he's a side character, and will get promptly demolished by him. The only change here is that one, this doesn't impact his shooting exams at all, and two, he tries to kill him for killing Ken. That's about it. 
Now we move on to the third round of the cheating exams. For new matchups, I'm gonna go from least interesting to the most interesting, where we'll start off with a pretty interesting fight in 1010 versus Conqueror. Wait, he surrendered? Come on, that's so annoying. What's the next matchup? Hinata versus Neji? All right, I can vibe with this. Hinata and Neji each have their own Seraph, with Neji declaring that Faye will have him win this battle, just like how she is always fated to be weak. Hinata will vow to prove Neji wrong, and a battle begins. Hinata will actually be able to keep up with Neji, and Neji is really surprised at this, but knows he can still win. When Hinata tries to strike a Neji with a furry two palm strike, he unleashes the Kaiten, though she is just barely able to back up and stop herself from getting hit by the dome. Neji then tries to finish the fight with a 64 palms, but Hinata comes back with the protection of the eight trigrams. One of the few times I wish Filler was canon. It was a technique she worked on during the one month training time skip to match with Neji's Kaiten. Neji is frustrated and says, Stop trying to defy your fate, Hinata. You will never beat me. You will always be fated to be weak. Hinata shakes her head and says, no, I will not lose here. I got a team who believes in me, and I refuse to continue to let anyone bring me down anymore. I will win this. In her thoughts, she says, I will win this for myself and for you, Naruto. The battle continues, and both ninja are getting tired. Neji will think he has gotten the edge as he's able to get Hinata within his field of divination and hits her with the 64 palms. However, haha, you actually thought it was the real me, but it was actually a shadow clone. A technique cannot incorporate into her arsenal in order to beat Neji, and in a way, Naruto is helping her beat Neji. All Naruto can do is smile as him teaching her that technique is about to pay off. Hana unleashes her own 64 palms, and in a stunner, she will beat Neji. She collapses on all fours, having used up a lot of chakra, but she has won. Naruto congratulates her and will now move on to Tamari versus Kiba. It is a hard fought battle with Kiba getting demolished by Tamari's win, but cast the heart of a lion. He will not be taken down so easily. He has that dog in him, literally and figuratively. He keeps going, able to land a flurry of blows on Tamari before finishing her off with a fan over fan, winning him the battle. Naruto congratulates Kiba and Kiba wishes him luck as his battle is next. Naruto nods and will get ready to face off against Sasuke Uchiha. How will that go and how will the invasion unfold? Find out in the next part. Thank you all for watching part 3 of what Naruto is in Inuzuka. We'll go over the final two matchups in the next part along with the invasion and maybe parts of search for synodic mission i hope you guys have enjoyed this video shout out to you for any video shout out to crown fiend for making a thumbnail if you want you can subscribe you don't have to but it at least lets me know that i'm you know building an audience and that i'm making great content and it also feels pretty good i guess <laughs> Finally, in terms of some of the other stuff, shout out to my 10 patrons are on screen, as well as my 20-hour patrons, Gabe Tibble and Night Slasher. If you want Warcher shouts like these, go to my Patreon, which is linked in the description. You don't even have to get a shout, you can just donate $5 and be in my Patreon VCs, which is pretty fun in and of itself. And finally, if you have any content you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. That's about it. This has been your boy, the MHA Sound Peace or Hot. Cue that outro.